Hello, my name is Paul Roney and I'll be your guide for this two-minute training for Splendid CRM. The topic is the browser extension for Chrome and it applies to full, professional, and enterprise editions. We created the browser extension for Chrome as an alternative to the Splendid CRM plugin for Outlook. The goal was to make it easy to archive Gmail messages to the CRM using an extension to the Chrome web browser. Now the first thing I'm going to do is navigate to Gmail and their goal is to archive these messages. The first thing you'll notice is the Splendid CRM icon on the address bar. I'm going to click this for the first time and what you're going to get is this prompt for the CRM website and login credentials. I'm going to test it first. Login successful. Excellent. So let's save it. Now in order to archive a message you must first make the message active. Now I'm going to right click and select archive email to Splendid CRM. And what we've done here is parsed the email message and pulled out the important information and we've used that uh, from information to look for any contacts in the CRM based on the email and the name. We could have just broadened the search. In this case I'm just searching by the email. We can also take a quick look at the raw source code. This is the actual text of the message. Uh, why don't I change this and look for any thing with the last name of Roni. All right, well let's send this message to two contacts and notice how they appear up here. And now we click archive email and that's it. It's done. It's archived. Uh, it's that simple. Now I'd like to show you uh, another feature of the extension. I'm going to go to a website that just happens to have contact information. I'm going to select this contact information, right click, and use the extension to create an account. And what we're going to do here is parse that text and pull out the phone, the email, the billing address. And we're also going to look in the CRM to see if that account already exists. In this case it does not. So let's save that. And there we have done, we very quickly created an account. And we can demonstrate that it was created by going back again and noticing that here it is. Here's our account. Let's check out the details of that. There's the details of that account. Let's cancel that. And let's, you know, maybe we want to create a contact. And it's the same thing. It's going to parse it. In this case, we, it's trying to take the company name and turn it into a first name, last name. Uh, it didn't do a very good job of that, but it did get the phone number, email, and address. And again here, it's going to look up the email and the name. Let's see if we can find anything else. Uh, yes, we did find it in there. In this case, uh, support is a email and a, a secondary email address for uh, for myself. And that's about it. Uh, I hope you found this training video useful. Thank you for watching.